either you can um, send us a chat in the chat window. You should see that on the um, right hand side of your screen in the go to webinar um, little widget there. Um, we um, yeah, so we will we'll, um, we'll get started with this demo, uh, and then once we once we get the demo will be about ten or fifteen minutes. Uh, once we get to the end, uh, we will open up all the phone lines. Um, so with that, our, our quick agenda here. Uh, we're going to look at a few slides in PowerPoint um, about uh, what is required for benchmarking multifamily properties. Um, and then we'll go into adding a multifamily property portfolio manager and adding meters and setting up your metering configuration in portfolio manager. So the first slide here uh, just gives uh, the list of, of things that you um, can input into portfolio manager. The first thing here is complete energy data. Um, so the minimum that portfolio manager requires to calculate uh, an energy use intensity or EUI for your property is 12 calendar months, 12 full calendar months of data. Uh, that includes all fuels, and um, we'll get into the, the tenant and common area breakdown in a little bit more detail uh, in a minute here. Um, but for portfolio manager and for Energy Star certification, they are looking for all tenant and common areas. Um, for the Better Buildings Challenge for your your overall commitment. The, the 20 percent savings goal over over 10 years that also includes the, the total tenant and common area um, data for this sort of the there's an interim goal as well for better buildings challenge multifamily partners um, and that is um, at this point entering in portfolio manager or sharing with us uh, outside of portfolio manager through a um, Excel template all of your common area or all of your owner paid receipts, so all the data that you do have access to. Um, the property use details, the one that is required for Better Buildings Challenge is just that gross floor area number. In Portfolio Manager, if you were interested in, in Energy Star certification, you are uh, also required to fill in the, the next four, next five inputs there. Um, the total number of residential living units in those three settings, low rise, mid rise, and high rise, as well as the total number of bedrooms. Um, this little blue box here on the side also shows us that um, a building going for Energy Star certification is required to have 20 units, and uh, like we mentioned earlier, that, that, that 12 full months of uh, property data or energy use data. Um, and lastly there is just the, your zip code, which I'm sure everybody has, and that's just so that uh, EPA can link the relevant um, climate and weather data for that property. Um, so we can jump into, I have a couple screenshots here just of some portfolio manager pages. Um, we'll take a quick look at these and then we'll, we'll, I'll share my desktop with you and you can see the, um, see me click through some portfolio manager steps. Um, this first one, for people who have used the new, I guess it's not considered new anymore, um, but Portfolio Manager uh, upgraded the, their software or their uh, their interface of the tool last summer. So um, adding a adding a property is is a lot easier. It gives you these uh, some step by step guidance. Um, this is the first page. Basically, all you have to do here is select multifamily housing. Um, the the property details that I was referring to earlier, um, the Portfolio Manager asks you to to fill them out um, on this in this table here. Um, you can see that red asterisk here. Um, that is basically saying that the only one required to really get started is your gross floor area. So they need to know how, how large the property is. Um, lastly, this is um, probably the most the most important or the most um, most pertinent information to our webinar today, and that is um, when you do enter your energy use in Portfolio Manager, you're going to see this question here. Um, tell us what these meters measure. Um, so right now, you might not have access to all of your uh, tenants' data, but you do have some some level of, of energy consumption data at your property. 
Um, so what this section is asking you is to say either yes, this is the total building consumption, that's that first checkbox there, um, or no, this isn't all of the data yet, and from this list here, you would tell it what is included. Um, so if you are in the in the scenario where um, your multifamily property is master metered, you would click that, in, and there's only one electric meter, one natural gas meter, or or some other heating source, and you you know that you have full building data. You would click that first option, and you'd be all all set, and you'd enter whatever data you had. If you were in the scenario um, that I think most multifamily uh, Better Buildings Challenge partners are in, and that is they're still working through um, either gathering tenant data um, or uh, awaiting the um, some sort of sampling protocol where they can can calculate out their tenant energy use. Um, then you would go here and you would, you would start by entering the data that you have now. So that would either be common area only or some com some combination of common area and unit. Um, so with that. I'm going to close this PowerPoint. Um, actually, first, Tyler, did we get any any questions come through the chat window as we're going? Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, as I am clicking through, let us know through the chat window um, if I'm going too fast or if there's a button on the uh, within Portfolio Manager that you'd like us to talk a little bit more about. Um, so. All right, so this is the um, Portfolio Manager homepage. For those of you that, that don't have an account yet, it's quick and easy to sign up. You just, they just need your name and email address. Um, we can send along this. Um, in case you guys don't have it yet, we can send along this, this link to get started. Um, I'm going to log into one of my test accounts, and you'll see two uh, two test multifamily properties that I've created. Um, we're going to start, I'm just going to click through the, the add property widget quickly um, and basically just show you what, what it looks like to set up a multifamily property. It's very simple. It's, it's a lot like setting up any type of property, but you start with this add property button. Um, like we saw in that screenshot, we're going to say it's multifamily. Um, if you have a standalone building that's, that has all of its own utility meters, um, and it's, it's not connected to any other um, apartment buildings you'd select. Uh, in this Your Properties Buildings, you'd say, I have one physical building at this property. If you do have a campus, uh, we can look more into that if anybody has questions on, on how to set up a campus. Um, but you would select more than one building and tell Portfolio Manager how many buildings are at that campus. I'm going to start just with the one to keep it simple. Um, and I'm assuming that these are all existing buildings, not uh, properties in the design phase of construction. Hey, and if I could just interrupt to answer yeah. a few questions. Uh, I got two from Maynard Scales. Uh, yeah, this will apply to all uh, all the subsectors of multifamily, so that includes public housing as well as affordable and market rate. Uh, we sort of use the same data approach with everybody. And uh, we'll actually cover a combination of building types later. That's a separate series of different space types of the property, which we'll cover in a moment. Uh, and for Noreen Cassidy, the electric usage for lights attached to the building, uh, I think that will, if that's separately metered, then we should be able to cover exactly where we need that. Um, and it's great that you guys are using the questions window, and keep sending them in, and we'll uh, sort of answer them as we go. Yeah, awesome. Um, so I guess, in what, what was the question about the lights? We can, is that if they're outside or something? Or? Yeah, lights attached to the building. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, we can we can take a look at that uh, when we get to the energy meters section. Um, so I'm just going to fill out the, this required information quickly. I'm going to call it apartment one in the U.S. Uh, here in D.C. One Main Street. Second, sorry. And it was built last year, two years ago, and it's 45,000 square feet. 
Um, this occupancy question here, it's actually, um, it is required, um, but it's not going to go into any, any sort of calculation. So um, it's, you can use it, you, you can pull it out of Portfolio Manager and a report for all of the buildings if you'd like to sort of say, track um, which ones of your buildings are you know, less than 50% occupied and which are more or, or at whatever threshold you'd like to track them, but it's actually not going to go into any sort of um, you and energy use intensity calculation, or if you were to apply for um, Energy Star certification, it wouldn't necessarily affect your score, but there is a, a minimum uh, percentage of occupancy that is required to apply. Um, then it's going to ask if you have any of these sort of these um, extra uh, spaces at, at your property, things like parking, pools retail on the first floor, restaurant. Um, I'm going to skip that for now, but if you if you do click these, it's going to add a, a separate space to your to this property's um, profile and it, it'll ask you to fill in some information about that. And if I could just add a little more context, uh, this is one way to submit data as the Bear Billings Challenge, but it is not the only way. Uh, we also have a custom template that we can look at and uh, we've also from time to time dealt with other format. So if portfolio manager for one reason or another doesn't work for the data in your portfolio, uh, you can discuss that with Kevin Bush or your account manager or uh, myself. Yeah. So we can cover those questions later. Great. True. Um, so this, um, the, the, the only required field uh, when, you're, when you're setting up this prop, a property here is um, the size. So, so as you're going through and setting up your properties, it would be good to to have that, that number on hand. Um, so I'm going to add this. It says, do you not enter values for all of your properties? Two speed sales, portfolio manager will calculate default. So uh, I'm okay with that for now. All right, so we set up the, we set up the basic um, shell of this property. Uh, we told the portfolio manager where it's located, how large it is, um, and it created this uh, this property profile page for us. Um, we see the, the, the name, and then we're given these new five tabs here. So it says summary, details, meters, goals, and design. Um, if at any point you, you um, get additional information about your property, uh, the units uh, in the number of bedrooms, things like that, that is edited from the details tab. Um, and you can, we can see here that that portfolio manager did fill in all of this information with the default values that they, they told us they would. Um, the next thing that we're going to take a look at is the um, meters tab. So we can, ac we can access that um, either from this add energy use information that says congratulations, you successfully created a property. Um, we can say click add energy use information. Um, I'm going to leave that up there for now because there might be cases where you create a property and you don't go right into adding the meters. So I'm going to just show you how to do that if you um, have the property created uh, and need to add new meters. So the way I would do that is from this meters tab. And I would click add another meter. So this is where um, you're going to tell Portfolio Manager what kind of fuels or, or what kind of uh, energy you're getting at this property. Um, just to keep it simple, I'm going to say we this property that I'm creating is only uses electricity um, and it's purchased from the grid. It's not uh, generated by solar panels or wind turbines um, and there's only one meter at the property. Or in this case, let's say that's the only this one meter that I have access to is a, is a common area meter. So this is the lobby and the elevators uh, and, and stairwell lighting and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to get click get started here. I could I can click any of those um, check boxes and tell portfolio manager how many meters I want to add. Um, from this page, I'm going to name my meter. So I want to name it something um, that I'll remember. So I'm going to say I'm an area electric, and I know that it's in kilowatt hours, and I know that it started the first day that my property was built and it's still in use, um, so there's no date that it became inactive. If this was an old meter, 
um, I could say that it's not in use anymore and I can provide a portfolio manager with the date that it stopped providing electricity. Then I'm going to hit continue. Um, from this page, I would be able to add the monthly energy uh, meters that I get from the utility company. I can either add them one at a time by clicking um, add, add another entry. So um, I would type in the start date, the end date, and the usage. Um, and I can keep clicking add as many as I want one at a time. Or I can use this spreadsheet template. Um, we can take a quick look at that uh, a little later in the demo if people are interested in, in how that works. Um, but basically what I'm going to do at this point, I'm not going to put any usage in. I'm going to delete those two entries and I'm going to say finish meter setup. So you can set up a, a shell of a meter in Portfolio Manager. If, so if you don't have the data ready yet um, or you don't have it in front of you, you can just you can set up the meter, uh, name it, tell Portfolio Manager when it started, um, and click finish meter setup here. And this is the page that we uh, were looking at in the screenshot. So I'm going to say that this common area electric, so, so the first question here is check the boxes for the meters that should be included in the energy metrics. So this is, um, in most cases, all of the meters you enter will be checked here. There might be cases where you have um, a sub-meter on some space uh, and you wouldn't want to include it in the building's total. So this common area electric is going to be included. And I know that it's not, uh, it does not account for the total energy consumption of the property. And I know that it's common area only. Um, so once I have that configuration set up, I'm going to hit apply selection. And my property and my meter are, are all set up. Um, I will go into quickly, actually, Tyler, did we get any, any questions throughout that process? Or? No, we're okay. good to keep going. Okay. I do have one property with the meter already set up. Um, so I did, I did the same thing in one of these test properties. Um, I created an electric meter. And you can see I, I put in these, these entries with, a, with usage and cost for, for a couple of years. Um, when you're, so, so in order to get a, an energy use intensity value, you need 12 months of data. So the, I'll, I'll show the goals tab here quickly. This, um, the source EUI value is what the vulnerability challenge is going to track. Um, and that is the total energy use. Uh, in one unit, um, KBTUs uh, divided by the square. <coughs> excuse me, divided by the square footage of the property. Um, this number um, for me right now is is not inclusive of all of the the tenant spaces at this building because my in my metering configuration, uh, I said it was a common area only. So this current score is 73, and I think if I click this not eligible to apply, it will tell me. Yep, so it's telling me that I'm not eligible because I've only included common areas. Um, so I think that's, those are the, the basics that I wanted to run through. Um, are there any questions on, on Portfolio Manager or um, on this demo before we before we open it up, um, Tyler, did you get anything? Uh, not so far, no. Okay. Why don't we? Um, so we'll we'll turn the the recording off um, for that for the demo session, um, and we will open up the the phone lines. I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint for now. Um, And you want to unmute? 